Hey, what's up, guys? And it's looking like next week is going to be a big week for Canon. They're actually rumoured to be announcing their two next Canon EOS R cameras the Canon EOS R7 and the Canon EOS R10. These are rumoured to be APS C cameras, so alongside these two camera bodies, it's looking like Canon also might be announcing some RFS lenses as well. Now, I've got this information from Canon Rumours, so if you do want to go check them out, I'll leave the link in the description below to the website if you do want to have a read up on their actual articles. But as you can see here, it's got the Canon EOS R7 and the Canon EOS R10 is going to be likely to be announced on May 24th, 2022. So you've got the EOS R7 camera body, the EOS R10, and then you've also got the Canon RFS 18 to 45 millimeter f 3.5 to 5.6, and the Canon RFS 18 to 150 millimeter f 3.5 to 6.3. Now these are going to be APS-C style lenses to actually go along with the APS-C camera bodies. It's looking like that these are going to be obviously the two kit lenses that you can actually buy with these two cameras. I actually got done a video on the Canon EOS R7 specs and rumors before on this channel. So I'll go over them specs again at the end of the video, but first I'm going to be going over the Canon EOS R10 specs as well. These are the actual leak specs of the Canon EOS R10 itself it's meant to have a 24.2 megapixel sensor now i don't know if that's any like stacked sensors or what but all it says is a 24.2 megapixel sensor it's meant to have 15 frames per second mechanical and 23 frames per second electronic now this is really good considering i'm shooting on the canon eos r it only goes up to eight frames per second but 15 frames per second mechanical is really fast and 23 frames per second electronic is really really fast as well so this is going to be looking like it's going to be really good for sports and wildlife this camera and it's also going to say it's going to be supporting one UHS-2 card and then also have HDR PQ. Now this isn't the craziest amount of specs that have been leaked compared to the R7 that was. There's actually not much information here and I actually have no idea if this is completely true or not but this is what it's found on Canon Rumours. So we're going to probably find out maybe on May 24th but we'll have to see really at the end of the day if this is actually the case. If you didn't see my last video on the R7 I'll quickly go through some of the leak specs of the Canon EOS R7 now. So the leak specs for the Canon EOS R7 is meant to be having a 32.5 megapixel APS-C dual pixel CMOS sensor which is looking like it's going to be a really good sensor for APS-C because it's got a really good megapixel count I think because it's really similar to the Canon EOS R and I think that's an amazing photography camera. It's going to have 15 frames per second mechanical and 30 frames per second electronic so again like the EOS R10 it's going to be really really good for like wildlife and sport photography as well because you can get some really really fast shots and you probably not really going to miss much action with these uh, frames per second so that's looking really really good it's got two dual card socks compared to the one on the canon eros r10 it's meant to have 4k 60 frames per second which is really good um, the canon eros r has 4k 30 and it's cropped this doesn't say anything about being it cropped but obviously we don't know that it still might be cropped yet but 4k 60 is really good and then it's also going to have 1080p 120 frames per second which is really really good to be honest because considering it's probably going to be a budget and an eros r camera 120 frames per second in 1080p is really really good obviously you're not going to hit 120 frames per second 4k because that's what the r5s and that do but it's a lot better than the canon eos r because that's 720p 120 frames per second so that's a really big upgrade 120 frames per second 1080p was pretty expected to be honest if it was 720p i thought that would have been really really bad uh c log 3 and hdr pq it's meant to have in body image stabilization which is really good another thing the canon eos r doesn't have and it's meant to be it says here announcement in june july but this post was made in may 9th and obviously like i said earlier it's meant to be announced in the 24th of may 2022 i guess we'll actually have a c because on this article it says announced in june july 2022 and it was meant to be released in august so just over a week later and they've already changed it to the announcement date the may 24th which could be completely true but then this could be true as well at the end of the day these are only just rumors none of these could be true at all but this is just the latest leaks and rumors spec so basically if you did enjoy and you found this video helpful why not hit that like button and subscribe to see more news videos like this and as well as also photography and videography tutorials and also gear reviews found on this channel as well so if you did enjoy you might find these four videos here interesting as well so why not hit click on one of them and thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video see you later